Hello, my name is Paul from Ergomot in Belgium. And in to many requests of customers, we want to show what you get when you order and how to install it. This is one of our strips. And as you can see, there is a long cord on the, each strip. It's about 150 centimeters or 59 inch cord. That means you can reach about any place in your vehicle and come to a central place where you will have the controller. If those cables are too long, that's no problem. Just measure that you get to your controller and with a simple scissors, you can cut away what is too long. Once it has been cut to the right length, you need to install the connectors. Connectors are delivered with each strip and you can open the connector if necessary, but normally not necessary. You just slide the cord, the cable in the connector and just by hand, you close it a little bit and then with a simple plier, you get it in and close it, it clicks. Now this one is done, but all connectors are female. As you can see this is female, this is female, so you can't connect them to each other. Therefore we have those silly gold plated pins delivered with. And in each connector you need two times three pins, six pins. They are gold plated to prevent corrosion in your vehicle. You see six pins installed and suppose I want this LED strip connected in the rear. This is a controller. You see one wire is marked rear. There's another one rear is the front and it's the front. So two for the front, two for the rear, left, right, left, right. One wire has a color. Most of the time it's red, sometimes they are blue. Depends on our supplier. If the colored wires have to go to the same side. So when I want to connect it, now the colored wire is that direction, the colored wire is that direction. This is okay. When you connect it this way, colored wire this way and the other one that way, it won't work. It may burn. So colored wire, same side, and you just push them together six pins both sides in the connector and it's done. So this is how to make connections to your strip. Install the connector, put the pins in it and make sure that the red line or the blue line goes to the same side. Now what you see here on the table is this is a controller and this is an amplifier. How to recognize both? The controller has the wire to vehicle wires. The amplifier has not. There's nothing here. So this is the controller, this is the amplifier. And what are those wires for? They will be connected with what we call our wire to vehicle kit. This thing. You can buy that from us. It's long enough. You can put those together, put the right colors in, the right colors. And you will see those colors have a meaning. When you download the app in the App Store or in Google Play Store, you will find in setup what the colors are for. By my head, I think the black one is the left blinker. The white one is uh, white lights in the front. The blue one is the right blinker or the left, I think. <laughs> Check the app, there it's correct. The green one is for the tail light and the yellow one is for the brake light. There is one more, the red one. The red one is what we call our test wire. When you use street mode so that your rolling eyes follow the signals of your bike and, and red in the back, uh, white in the front, blinking left and right in amber. If you want during driving, which is illegal, I know, but if you want show during driving, 
then you put 12 volt on the red one, then it forgets about the straight mode and it's always in show mode. If you don't connect this one, when your bike is on and when your lights are on, it will follow your lights. Now, a question we get many times is how to connect the amplifier to the controller. One controller can do 288 LEDs, not more. If you need more, you need the amplifier. Let's say you have 200 LEDs in the back and 200 LEDs in the front, that's 400, then you will need the amplifier. How to connect the amplifier? Well, two wires are marked controller, controller. Two other wires are marked LED, LED. It speaks for itself. The wires marked controller have to be connected to the controller. Usually we put the amplifier in the front. So I already installed the pins. Colored line, colored line, same side. So the front is now connected to the wire mark controller of the amplifier. This is the other one and I do it to the other front wire. So the amplifier now is connected to the controller. That means the rear LEDs will go directly to the controller, to the wires marked rear rear, and the LEDs in the front will go on the lines marked LED LED from the amplifier. How to do that? Well, very easy. These are prepared strips with gold plated pins in it. This is one for the rear. So, red line, red line at the same side. There you go. This is the other one for the rear. Red line, red line, same side. There you go. So let me put them a little bit over there. Okay. Then, two for the front. Red line, red line, same side. There you go. And the other one for the front. Red line, red line. There you are. So now I have four devices connected. Two to the amplifier, which goes to the controller. And two for the rear, in direct to the controller. Now, many people want to do more than four devices. Therefore, those cables are long enough. Suppose I want something more in the rear. Well, it's easy. Just grab another connector, slide it on the cable to where you want to have it. Close it a little bit by hand with the plier. clicks and another strip. Do I have another strip here ready? Yes. <laughs> this one. Red wire, red wire. So as you can see now I have five devices installed. So that means on those cables you can have two, five, eighty connectors and you can connect as many devices as you want. So everything is done. The only thing we still need now is power. So let me bring it a little bit close to each other. So let me put 12 volt on these babies. Of course, red is positive plus uh, black is negative minus. And normally we put them on the accessories. When I now engage the power, you will see that the show starts and all your five strips are doing the crazy light effects. So I thank you for following this guide and wish you good luck 
with your own installation.